Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my makeup favorites or you can even actually go deeper with that <laughs> and we will speak about the makeup products, my favorite products which I decide to keep when we were moving because I think I mentioned it to you that the movers didn't allow us to bring cosmetics with them so we had to put everything to the luggage and unfortunately we had a lot of stuff, not just cosmetics. So it, a lot of things I had to, you know, leave. And that was not so easy. Yeah, so I'm going to share with you what's left. I got some few more pieces which are new. And um, I want to share with you what is at the moment in my makeup bag. And I love these products the most. They are here to stay and we're going to go one by one so I can introduce you to these goodies here. Anyway, I have my little makeup bag here and no, absolutely <laughs> not all fits into this little baggie but technically almost guys. I mean, I will not be able to close it but almost, it will fit in a little hill but as well, honestly, this is not that spacious makeup bag so anyway as well i have some products which i would like to share with you which i absolutely do not recommend you getting it's not many it's not many but there is a few and i want to show you as well what i absolutely don't want you to get <laughs> or at least per my opinion you know it may be good for some right but for me it just didn't work so Let's not forget, I have combination skin. Back in the days, my skin was very oily. Now it's like, you know, combo. It changes. As well, I think it's my skincare, drinking more water, lifetime change. I'm getting older. I'm still 38 though. <laughs> anyway. So, yes. So that is what we're dealing here with. With a little bit more of the oily skin. So the products which are more pro, like dry skin, of course, won't you know work for me, right? Or you, if that's you as well. Anyway, guys, so I just want to remind you as well as we are here on Fridays, don't forget to subscribe, click on notification so you don't forget to come back and we can see each other here every Friday, right? I personally love to watch like favorite makeup videos. I think it's fun. I just love makeup. Since I was a little girl, I always loved makeup, guys. Always. And it's still now. But my makeup journey changed a lot. Back in the days, I was so heavy in foundation. So, so, so heavy in foundation. And now I barely have any, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah. It's the skincare, it's the skincare. Anyway, so let's get started, let's get started. I'm going to take everything out. So I'm going to start with the, with the first piece. Anyway guys, if you follow me for a little bit of a while, you know my Anastasia eyebrow pencil is for me absolute must have. I buy it in ebony tone and with this one, you, with this kind of pencils you have to be very careful, you have to be very light handed, like you cannot go crazy with it because it will bend, right? And you will create stain. You need to go very light, gentle strokes, if I'm going a little too hard now, so you can create little baby strokes with it to mimic your hair and that's how you know you can love product like this if you have very heavy hand you will probably never like product like this because it just won't work for you the good thing is you can always use spoolie and like you know blend it up a little bit and things like that but it's not for everyone for sure not as well i have two more eyebrow products here one is from merit guys this is the black tone eyebrow tint which I like to use and I first like to brush my hairs uh, against it a few times then put it back 
to the way they're supposed to be and it gives you like this very nice tint even the skin under it gets a little bit of tinted so if you like let's say really don't want to do any makeup it's good to have some tone for your eyebrows I love it personally I just you know eyebrows they just define our face you know like it just is like there I don't know eyebrows were always very important to me always and now and that's why I have one more product here which is from Benefit this is the 24 hour brow setter guys I love this thing I love 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 this thing so much if you don't have it in your cabinet what are you waiting for you have short little um, hairs and longer and you just brush your hairs with it and it holds so well I love it I just love this one so much my favorite Tom Ford eyeliner this eyeliner it's I wish they did it a little bit shorter I personally don't use the short spike as much as I like to use the long one I use it to create the little wings you know the like gentle eyeliner forever my favorite liquid eyeliner there is no other brand which I can use this doesn't smudge it just stays on fabulous You're going from up down I guess or smaller to bigger <laughs> My favorite mascara, who will ever think I will love this little thing so so much guys, it's fabulous, I enjoy the brush, it just gets very close, especially this part here, I don't know if you can see it, like one part of the brush gets super close to the lashes. And it just gives you this nice separation length and you know like it just hugs every lash and it's so easy to work with I really like it I really really like it let's talk about lipsticks lipsticks so you guys always ask me what is it on your lips is this the Chantecaille and you know I love I have like seven of my favorite Chantecaille products but guys very um, often what I do is I use my Huda Beauty in pinky brown lip contour I have now different lipstick I will show it to you but what I do with this lipstick lip liner I just like apply it here <laughs> I'm like <laughs> it was weird uh, to the center of my lips and I just like you know blend it up a little bit to add a little bit of tone and it's a lip liner so it lasts quite well it holds very well and I love the tone of this it's like gorgeous rosy tone but it has like brown undertone speaking of my Chantecaille like I said I swear I have seven of them each bag has one they are everywhere <laughs> in packets of my jackets they're everywhere so this is my favorite Chantecaille lip uh, it's called the Le Mat Style Style Stilo yeah in a medium sweet tone I'm gonna put it right next to this another this one is more it has a little bit more cool tone from the lip pencil but they work very well together and as you can see it's matte I just love it I love this one I love it it's matte but it's hydrating so it doesn't over dry my lips that's why I love it like I bought so many of them when we were moving to Europe because you know in my country you cannot buy Chantecaille there and uh, they don't ship there so no 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 Sometimes they have it, I think, on the net a -porte, but it's been sold out. So, yeah, I was just making sure that I have it with me. Another favorite lipstick, Tom Ford Fascinator. I have this for a long time. I don't know if they still make it. That's what I'm wearing today. It's a little bit more brighter, lighter pink. Um, it's a little bit more fun, a little bit more pop, you know. I enjoy the color like that sometimes. Then Kilian Nude Goddess 270. The packaging, guys. Isn't this the most 
beautiful packaging you have ever seen and the smell of the lipstick i mean my goodness what is it i don't know it reminds me of something i know i just don't know what it is it smells so good i know i think it should be one of their perfumes I don't like Killian perfumes and I try all of them because I had friends who work for Killian and one day she just came to my work and she brought me all these perfumes it was at least 12 of them and I didn't like any of them and I kept trying but I didn't like any of them too bad, no? anyway, this is the Killian Nude Goddess my uh, pillow talk. I have one more somewhere. I don't know where. This is the mini one. I like to have this one in handbag. This is just great color for everyone, isn't it? I need to buy one more, honestly. I mean, I will show it to you compared to the other lipsticks. So this is it. This is the pillow talk. It's... I would say the tone is in between these two. Like if I combine these two together, you get this one but as well i had to slide the lipstick a few times on the hand to get the same pigmentation as the killian and tom ford give me guys my favorite concealers all armani <laughs> all armani this one is 3.5 tone this one is tone 4 which is gone i need to buy a new one and these two are the 24 hour lasting this is the Luminous Silk Concealer 5, number 5 tone. Uh, I will show you the colors if you want. As you can see, this one is old. <laughs> That's why it has the shiny packaging. The new comes in matte packaging. So this is the 3.5. This is number 4. And then this one, which is different, is not as covering, but I like to use it like under my eyebrows, guys. I as well need to buy a new one. It's here, that's the lightest one. I just like to like use it, you know, to frame my eyebrows. Very rarely I use it actually on a face. So those are my three favorite tones of concealer. And this one, the 3.5, I was not able to buy in Europe at all. But now I'm kind of actually used to the 4. So now I like the 4. But I just bought the 3.5 just because it's a great one. <laughs> Forever must have my eye primer. No eyeshadow stays on me the way I want it to stay if I don't use eye primer. I just have to. Because I do have, like I say, combo skin. My eyelids get quite oily. Guys, if I use this, uh, let's say I came from work and I went to the gym and I was doing cardio and I was drenched in sweat, this will still keep my eyeshadows on because I will usually just wash like my face, like foundation, powder, blush off, but I will keep the eyes on, right? Because that's too much work <laughs> to do the whole wash, right? So that will hold the eyeshadow in the whole workout. I'm sorry, this camera is heavy for this very stable stick, but apparently it's too heavy. As you know, if you watch me for a while, you know Victoria Beckham, this is the signature tone palette. I have it forever, guys. I just love to use this on full eyelid and then I apply this tone to it. It has like this gorgeous cool but burgundy tone i love this color so much and you can blend it so well i'm gonna show it to you here it has a little bit of shimmer to it like almost nothing it has like a little sparklers in it but really nothing and i love this one i think this is a great palette for winter and autumn honestly it's very pigmented just so you know the dark brown I use just like as eyeliner, guys. And the pink peach tone I didn't really use. It's not my color. I'm gonna show it to you if you were curious. It's just too light for me. 
and it has a lot of shimmer in it I mean for me personally like if I went for like light tone I would really go for this one because it doesn't have any shimmer it's completely matte you know guys I'm one of the people who loves to sit on a floor but after like a day <laughs> and uh, you know bum day <laughs> Not so ideal, not so ideal, really not. A little bit of, whoop, there you go. <laughs> I brought the towel so I can clean up my hand because I took all the towels away from here for wash. So <laughs> I had to wash this off. La Bouche Rouge as well, one of my favorite palettes, guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of the most expensive, I think, things for eyeshadows I have ever purchased because you first have to buy the palette and then you have to buy the packaging <laughs> yeah it's not ideal it's not ideal but I have it for quite a while and this is the palette I have you have this super dark which reminds me a little bit of the Victoria Beckham as well but not really I'm gonna show to you it's a little bit more transparent even it like takes on the finger a little bit more hard but it blends quite well then we have this the brown tone see it's very lovely then you have one tone which has like this blue coolish neutral tone to it gorgeous it's a little bit lighter as you can see and then the light which is absolutely lovely like very trench coat color which is here Doo -doo. there I like this palette I'm just worried <laughs> you know of course I sometimes think why they don't do the darkest tone like the smallest one right and like this tree could be a little bit bigger like Victoria Beckham kind of did you know because nobody ever really is using the full darkest tone to the fullest because it's too dark no to use it like a lot you need just a little bit of it so I think Victoria Beckham kind of got it to the point when she has you know the, the lightest tone which is like the base right in the highest amount I think that most eyeshadows should be like that honestly but not everybody has that it's okay I have two dear palettes one is super old you won't be able to buy it anywhere and I'm so sorry I'm gonna show it to you but these are the tones I'm living for and I always tell you I'm hiding this one from myself so I don't use it I use it only for special occasion so this is the touch 537 super old super matte palette all the shades are matte guys I love this. I'm not going to be swatching this for you. Can you see it? I <laughs> had two of them because I knew it will be discontinued. Dior always does that, right? Another palette from Dior which is new. It has the new packaging. You could see this one in the video I did for my YouTube channel. Guys, the rose tone. This one and this one. That's what I have on today. I mean, I have different days, but these two, they create, like I told you in that video, like unbelievable. I'm going to swatch them for you here as well as we are here. I will start with the lightest one, which has like gold shimmer-ish tone to it. You know, Dior always does it. It's beautiful for some people like to have this kind of shimmer just doesn't work for me then I'm going to swatch this one here next to it I mean they're gorgeous it's just not for me these tones I mean I would use it perhaps for the evening you know this one is more on silver tone this one has more gold in it now I'm going to swatch the peach one which is in the center that is absolutely not for me but Again, I think maybe for some people, yes, but this is not for me. Too light, you see? Too, too light. Then the gorgeous rose one. This, can you see it? It almost blends 
it almost blends with my skin tone <laughs> it's just perfect and now the dark chocolate one there you have them one two three <laughs> Four, five. I was just making sure it's already five. I was like five. Another eyeshadow which I love um, is this one. I left it for last because I think once I put it on my hand, it will be very difficult to take off. Hindash, guys. What is the problem with Hindash? Why they don't bring it back? It's been sold out since I bought it. And since I bought it, I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. Obsessed. This is Carve Tone, which is like the perfect, perfect brown. I think uh, Armani has a similar tone, but the Armani doesn't hold this way, doesn't blend this way. It's just different. I know you can use this on your face. I will not never put it on my face because I think it's um, too heavy. The color can be a little bit rough, but I actually used it like as a base for my eyeshadow today. I just love this, my dear friends. It's the most incredible color. I put too much on my hand. But guys, you blend this so well. It's just... And the thing is, once you blend it, it stays. It stays. And you can completely, completely make it, like, you know, disappear. I mean, it's something I will have for a long time because this color, you just need a little dip. I put too much on my hand right now. I really use like micro, micro, micro amount on my... I have to wash it now. See, it doesn't come off until you use like a makeup remover. <laughs> One more eyeshadow, which I love, love, love. Peony. I believe it's Peony from Chantecaille. Always for here. Addicted to this. Mother of Pearl tone, which it's difficult to show on the skin like this, my dear friends. But the second I put it like here, can you see it? How it shimmers? It's not really shimmer, it really is like Mother of Pearl tone. It's incredible. I think I need more of Chantecaille products. I love Chantecaille, I love the brand. I think it's fabulous. It's very expensive, but they do something right. Oh, one more lipstick, guys. I forgot it was hidden. Dior 772. The only red I can wear and not to look like a clown. Do you see this gorgeous, gorgeous tone? And this is how I really apply it. I do have lipstick on, obviously. But I want to show you how I apply it. I just apply it to the like center of my lips and then I blend it up. Blend it out. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. You see the tone? I never seen I never seen a red tone like this except from the Dior. This gorgeous blush from Gucci in a tone rose beige of it's 05. This is the most annoying opening. I and I just went with my with my nail to it. So I like to use this blush in this gorgeous rosy tone as well as eyeshadow because I think for the blush it's too light for me. I use it as mattening blush because it's too too light. But if I apply it for like just like if you the thing is what I like to do sometimes I just take bronzer and I apply like here uh, blend it up for a very natural look. You can just gently powder this on top of it. Looks really good. Looks really good. And it does not irritate my eyelids, which is always plus, 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 plus. Because every time I buy new makeup, I'm just like, oh, please, please, please don't make me look like frog. I'm not going back to emergency. Plus the packaging. So cute. One more blush. Two more blush. 
You've seen this on my Instagram. Obsessed. This is the explicit flush. It looks very orange here, but it has more coral tone, guys. It's just the camera makes it look very... I mean, it does have a little bit orangey undertone to it. It depends on the light already. I have it on now, it's very light. I, I don't know what apply my makeup, you know it. I'm going to make the swatches for you. So this is the super light tone. But you can see it on my skin. Then the coral. You see how pretty. And now I'm going to mix them up together. Because that's as well it's recommended to really use them like. And that will be the third one. And that's the third one here when you mix them both together. One, two, three. I love it. I love this Tom Ford blush. I think I will go for one more. Something I think cherry is it called? Yeah, because I want something stronger. Forever my favorite blush from Bestman Atelier. Shushet. My dear friends, this has been with me forever. Like this color, this gorgeous rose tone. I mean on my hand because it's tan compared to my face. As you can see, I don't tan my face. A Dracula moment. And I don't have a bronzer on right now because I'm home, right? But I just wanted to like do my eye makeup so I look cute. <laughs> so I love this one. I love, I love, I love how natural it blends. It just looks like really like that's your tone. You know, you blend it up to your cheeks and it looks like you look healthy, you're glowing. It's fabulous. People will think, oh, is she, is she born like that? Maybelline? I'm <laughs> just kidding. One more Tom Ford product here. I have this forever. This is the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo 07 Inca Descent. Inca Descent. Not easy for me to say. Very lovely, very lovely highlighter. I'm gonna, of course, oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. I'm going to show it to you here. It's the goodness gold. Don't we love this? I mean, guys, so good. And the rosy one. How pretty. Below it. And of course, I put a lot, guys. You see how you can blend it. See this? Yeah, it's like when you blend it. It's very nice. I have one more highlighter here, which I want to show you from Nestman Atelier in Nectar. Of course, this is more of the wet look, right? I think the Tom Ford are not much of the wet look. It's just really it's highlighter. So this is the Nectar here. I like it, but it's not for everyone. Definitely not for everyone. It has like a weird structure. It constantly looks like it's melting. <laughs> This is the contour stick, um, but you can as well use it as a bronzer. I love truffle tone, guys. I love to use this on my eyelid, blend it up for a natural tone. And I just like to put a little bit on my cheek and you blend it just to add yourself a little bit of tone. You see, it just is so nice. It doesn't break me out. It looks very natural. It reminds me a little bit of the, the one from Chanel, except this one doesn't go to my pores as the Chanel used to do. And I think because of the coconut in the Chanel, it was really breaking me out really badly. But I just love how natural this looks. It does not mattify as the Chanel did. This one keeps a little bit more of natural glow, but it's really nice. Really pretty. Shantekai! Shantekai! Shantekail! You know that one is here to stay, guys. This, what I've been doing with this when we go out, I just apply it all over my face at this point. It just gives you the most amazing glow. So I use this as a step one right now. Well, that's what I do. I just like blend it up all over my face to give me the little tan look because look, you know, like I do much. <laughs> and my dear friends, 
it just looks translucent but it gives you this gorgeous color but the color it really it like shows the thin you know it almost makes you look like it's your natural tone and it looks so gorgeous and healthy and gives you this glow the coverage is very minimum but I, it gives you a little it like evens out your tone really it's not really coverage love it love love this product you know it and it's a big container it lasts forever I will have it forever and once I run out I buy it again this video is really long I'm so sorry and another Chantecal you know it I love this one this is the vanilla tone that I guess the only compact foundation they have this is the color my dear friends I'm going to this is my second one I had one before this foundation if that's what you want to call it gives you the healthiest looking skin ever like it gently mattifies you see how it's not shiny it looks so good it like the pores of your skin like disappear i think it's even anti-aging so you can see like the pores are like gone on my hand but it doesn't look heavy it looks very natural I don't know why I have not used this like in the past. I guys, I tried the Valmont, which many of you told me to try because I had samples when we were, I tried it when we were in Italy. It's too heavy, too heavy, too much coverage, too, too heavy. And I used a tiny little bit. It was too heavy for me, not my thing. I could not, I threw it away. I mean the sample, my middle sample anyway, but I will not spend the money for that one because it's too heavy and I don't like that much foundation on me. As you can see, I have like, I like the imperfections on my skin to show a little because I don't like to look like I have too much makeup on and I don't put much of makeup on these days. So look, this is perfect. I mean, if you, I used to love the Amor Pacific, but the Amor Pacific made me a little shiny. This is better. 100% worth it. I'm never going to go anything else, guys. I will try. I like Armani. But whatever. Now, quickly, the products I do not like. Yeah? It's not that many, honestly. This little mini travel one from Petal. I mean, from Westman Atelier in Petal Tone. Guys, I don't like the color for me. It may work for someone. For me, it's too purple. <laughs> kind of makes me look like a Smurf. It's not my tone. Kind of sad. Um, I love the travel size. So glad I try first with the travel size. I may could find... No, it doesn't work for me. I look blue. I know you cannot see it on a camera, but it's a tone which makes me look blue. You know, so many people praise this on social media. So many, like amazing makeup artists, but they have dry skin. If you have dry skin, you may going to love this product. For me, when I put this on my face, guys, the color is gorgeous. <laughs> color is amazing. But when I put this on my face, it looks so greasy on me. So, so greasy and then it just like my skin absorbs it and it looks like I have nothing going. Yeah, so see, it's here. <laughs> it blends very well. I think it's really good for dry skin. I mean, on the hand it looks okay because my hands are dry right now, but my face when I do skincare doesn't work for my face. It's just not, mm -mm, not worth it. And I'm not, loving it at all Tom Ford concealer gorgeous packaging it has like a little shimmer in it guys so when you apply it like you will feel like what is the shimmer on my face it has nice little coverage but the shimmer makes me not to like it I 100% prefer for this kind of uh, concealer the Yves Saint Laurent because it's like luminous you know it's nice but for the money, absolutely no, absolutely no. Dior, what a disappointment.
appointment, guys, this little backstage in tone to neutral. I mean, really disappointing. I thought I will use like under my eye. It doesn't cover up, it doesn't brighten up. It's just like there. It does not work for me at all. Plus, as you can see, it turns really white and I can see it on the skin. And I don't like to see um, concealer on the skin. So you have to like blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. And then it looks like you don't have anything on. So absolutely not absolutely no guys that's it that's my makeup and the ones i hate <laughs> this video is so long i'm so sorry i'm keeping you here for 56 minutes i just love my makeup i always did since i was a little girl i will try to cut this up a little bit so I, you know you don't, you don't sit in front of camera in, in front of your computer or phone for such a long time but i just love makeup anyway guys Thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you for supporting my channel. You guys are amazing. By the way, thank you for all the lovely support you gave me under my, you know, post when I like spoke about certain things. I'm planning to do actually a video about it to get a little bit deeper in it as well. So maybe some, some people can get inspired or I don't know, whatever they want, right? Thank you so much for watching and I see you next Friday. Bye-bye.